สวัสดีครับ Hello, it's good to see you again. Well, how are you doing? Long time no see. I hope you have good time with the lab. So today we're gonna talk about your term projects. <coughs> so I would guess that all of you got the assignment sheet for the term projects. This semester we're gonna have a little bit different from the previous semester. We're gonna use the special device called the LED matrix. This one, our device got eight times eight LED matrix like this. Mm -hmm. With the LED matrix, you're gonna see all together eight times eight or sixty-four LEDs. Well, you would guess if we have to write the LED that much. Maybe we need so many wires or so many lines. For example, if we have 64 LEDs, technically speaking, you would need about 55, 65. I'm sorry, 65 lines, including 64 for each one and one common ground or common voltage. Depends on how you connect your circuit. Well. We cannot wire the cable that much, or at least it doesn't make sense to have so many lines. So another way to do it is that maybe we can just use eight lines to select the columns that we want, and another eight lines to select the row that we want, and one more line to select whether we want the LED to be on or off. Put them all together. You may need just 8 times 8 plus 1 and a common ground. Altogether, about 17 or 18 lines. Still, 17 or 18 lines is still too much for us because, in our case, our board contains only about 13. Or if you use the analog line, maybe you've got additional 8 lines for that, 8 IO pin for that. But we don't want to waste them all with the LED. You still need it for something else. Here's another idea. What if we only want one of the eight lines to be one, only one pin at a time? In that case, we can use three bits or three IO pin to enable eight lines that we want if we only want one line to be one at a time. So we need three for the columns and another three for the row. Put them all together, three for columns, three for row, and one pin for on and off. So we need about seven or eight lines to control our eight times LED matrix. In this case, I'm gonna call our three lines for the column selectors C0, C1, and C2, and three lines to select the row R0, R1, and R2, and another one for LED on and off. If you wire them according to the sheet that I give you in the lab, then you can easily control the circuit. Here yeah, I got a sample code that's gonna show you a little bit of how to do that. I create the LED initial function. In this case, I use pin number 8, number 9, and number 10 for the columns C0, C1, and C2. I use pin number 11, 12, and 13 for row number 0, 1, and 2, respectively. So I'm gonna make them all an output and initially make them low so that I do not select any pin, any line. But a little different from the uh, layout that I put in the sheet for you. In this case, I'm gonna use the analog pin A0 for output for the on off. All right. Now this is just for initials to make sure that everything gonna be output and they all start with zero. I move on a little bit. I create the LED switch function. This function is going to take rows and columns mm -hmm, and a switch value to say on or off, just like that. All right. 
So since I wind the pin 11, 12, and 13 for the uh, row, so I want pin 11 to be the least significant bit of the row, and pin 12 and the, to be the uh, R1, and 13 to be R2. So in a sense, this is like and with one, this is and with two, and this is and with four in binary. So that's if you wonder what is the and one, two, and four for, they just bit mask to select the bit that I want. Similar things for the columns, and at the end, switch on or off. So to use it, I just call the LED initials in the setup function and I make in the main loop I can just say what LED that I want so if I want the LED number one row number one and column number five to be on I can just do this but in reality we want to make the pattern so if I want to make the pattern what I should do I should create an array containing the pattern and then I loop a little bit to show the pattern to the LED display all right let's see how are we doing anyway I play a little bit with the pattern so this is how my board show this smiley face to you so you're welcome to play along with the pattern if you want to but the general idea is that you just turn it on and off one by one you select LED from low zeros and column zeros, and you say you want it to be on or off. Then you switch to low zero, column one, and you say on or off, and so on. So if you keep moving a little bit, if it is so fast that your eye cannot see, you will see as if they are all on at the same time. But actually, they are on and off at the very fast speed. All right. That should be enough to help you jumpstart with your term projects. From now on, just think about it. It's not that difficult, right? Enjoy, have fun, goodbye. See you, I don't know, maybe next semester. Thank you.